and I want to ask you small or small thing. We are in the era where uh, you can say science and technology are developed developed in you can say every area or every every say every sector of the you can say whatever education is there or any area science and technology has developed fully but still so many things we are not able to get the correct answer based on our science or whatever development we have done in last 200 or 300 years why it is happening something lacking is there just i will ask you one small question everybody might be this value aware how to find the speed of light speed of light everybody knows 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second or miles per hour or kilometer per hour any unit we will be able to convert it but how to find the speed of light if i will ask you any of the scientists also they will not able to give very very a straight answer how to find the speed of light very easily because still we are not clear about what is vacuum and what is ether and we are totally confused light is a particle nature or wave nature we are not clear about sometimes we are telling light is a wave nature if it is wave nature then it will follow the waviness if it is not wave it is a particle nature then it needs some medium to communicate and another side we are telling between earth and sun after after atmosphere of earth it is totally vacuum nothing is there and one of the philosophy is there nothingness to everything then if nothing is there then how light can travel how light can pass from sun to earth or other planet then we are still not clear about the vacuum or ether for that sake wherever things are not clear in this universe we are telling their ether is there and ether is one kind of unknown medium in which light can travel means this basic questions we are not able to handle but through vedic math thousand thousand of years before one simple statement what was there 2202 yojans in half an ms that is your speed of light that is your speed of light only one line 2202 yojans in half an ms now only thing is there we should understand what is yojans and what is nimis nimis is the shortest shortest unit of time actually in science we are thinking we are developing and we are uh, we are uh, keep on uh, you can say developing in all the area but number of units or number of variable we are dealing very less to measurement of time we are dealing only second minutes and hours we are not going beyond that all units are just summation of that different units we don't have different units we don't have but in ancient time or you can say vedic time so so many unit was there and the smallest unit of time was nimis still you will come to the south india here people used to speak nimisha nimisha means second generally you can just uh, coordinate but exact value one nimish it will be equal to 0.2 second that is your wink of eye that is your wink of eye if you are just blinking the eye that will take 0.2 second 0.2 second that is equal to nimish and 2202 yojan one yojan is almost equal to 15 kilometer almost equal to 15 kilometer and one nimis we can say it will be almost equal to 0.2 second now how much is it to find this value 189547 miles per second or we will convert in any of the units we know this this is uh, uh, very popular 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second this is the speed of light but how much easy how much easy now just suppose that much vast complicated thing through vedic math how much easily we are able to get because our premises are totally different premises itself totally different science is thinking time is a straight it is going just a straight line it is a started somewhere like uh, most of the people are starting it is a started at first ad and that first day we assumed it was monday based on that all georgian calendar has developed and it is keep on going a straight line if anybody will ask after 2021 what will happen 22 will come after 22 23 it is keep on going we are not thinking and our premises are not based on the cyclicity of the time and vedic mathematics first premises is cyclicity of time what is happening today it is not happening first time it happened many of the times earlier also or it will happen many of the times afterwards